And I'm your host, Lisa Ray. Five minutes. It's the most competitive culinary competition in the country. Whoa. Oh, my God. Game on. And it's bigger and better than ever. What are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> We've gathered 16 of Canada's best chefs to fight it out as they put it all on the line. Oh. Overseeing the... Such, I can't wait! Such a good show. This is one of our favorites last year, of course. Hilarious. Top Chef Canada, season two here in Canada. We are joined by two of the contestants who have signed massive non-disclosure agreements. Uh, Trevor Bird joining us, uh, chef, and Jimmy Stewart, sous chef from Barefoot Bistro in gorgeous Gentlemen. Whistler. Gentlemen. Guys, how are you? How are you doing? Hey guys. So good. to explain before we begin, you guys can't really tell us a lot, can you? Not really. So what happens if you do? Like, does it like is it a guillotine? I is think it it's like spontaneous? The second we walk out of here, <laughs> some guys will meet us. Right. Legs, <laughs> right. we're Fire up, horse head yeah. in bed, etc., etc., etc. Okay. First and foremost, uh, let's start with you, Trevor. How did you get involved in the show? Um, it was a lot of peer pressure, and uh, <laughs> I just, you know, <laughs> my friends sent me the application forms over Facebook and said, "Fill this out," and then I thought. All right, it was like two days before the deadline, and uh, that was about it. Right. And did any of those other friends uh, compete or fill out that no, application? No, they didn't. It yeah, was just weird, like, huh? What are you doing? I yeah, was isn't like, that oh. strange? And there are yeah. probably a lot of them in the profession as well, and they decide to just send out the sacrificial <laughs> yeah. lamb. And Jimmy, uh, how about you? Was it this for, a peer pressure for you? Did you do it all on your own? Just went, just went for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. You know, I loved the American one. You know, huge respect for all the chefs that go and do that. They're amazing, and... Uh, you know, as you know, Dale, like, mass respect, like, yeah. let's give it a shot. Uh, so did you, uh, did you, like, sort of hunt it down, or did the application fall to you, or were you following it a little bit? Or? I was watching the show, and at the end of the uh, season, it was, like, you know, uh, casting for season two, Top Chef. It was, like... Done. All right. I'll now do you that. guys were kind of just in fear watching that clip. <laughs> uh, what is the pressure like in the kitchen of Top Chef Canada? Is it as scary as we all think? It's not as scary, but I mean, it's definitely high tension, high pressure, and you wake up with an anxiety attack and you go to bed with one, so it's... Uh, uh, did you know, I mean, especially when you have that first oh, challenge, you know, first day, first oh, challenge, everything yeah. else. Is uh, this your first time seeing this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're both like a couple kids. Yeah. They're like, let's see it. So tell us what we're looking at here then. Okay, so this is, yeah, we all just met each other. Quick fire start. And is we this had, first day? This first day, yeah. yeah. Oh. So we had to make something out of leftover canapes. Leftovers. Yep. Pressure. Oh, look at that handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna let these guys watch every little bit that we have. Oh my God! Let's talk about the injuries as we see somebody almost cut their finger off. When you guys are working that quickly, how? I mean, are you putting yourself in more danger than usual in a regular kitchen? Yeah. Well, you don't know where anything is, and there's knives flying everywhere. Everybody's super under pressure. They're all just like, wow, like freaking out, grabbing things and kicking. It's <laughs> Jimmy, were you prepared for it? I mean, mentally, obviously, you guys have both followed the show. You've seen it. Uh, you probably know a couple of people that have done it. But is there any any way to, to be ready for that moment, that first day when you're sent out there to just do you it? You guys know? No. Not a chance. Really? The, the things they throw at you is just, oh. you will never So where be do you start though? I mean, Jimmy, in all seriousness, when you're faced with a room like that, what do you go back to? Do you go back to basics? Do you, do you try and outthink everyone or do you just go, okay? <laughs> My idea was just like, I'm going to make something I've never made every single Very time. different approaches. Yeah. Me Whoa. And Whoa. Hey, extremely. It was Very. just like, no, I, I know basic fundamentals that I'm going to apply. And, and just, just do it. And everything what about you? I just stuck. I mean, uh, my the piece of advice that was given to me is stick with what you know and go with the classics. Yeah, and like, I'm, well, just stick to what I know, what I'm comfortable with. I'm not going to start trying a whole bunch of crazy new techniques that I've never tried before using equipment that I'm not comfortable with because <laughs> Jimmy, on the other hand, he's just going <laughs> for it. You know? I was you know, pretty comfortable with most of the, the equipment that was there, so yeah, I was yeah. pretty lucky. I was going to ask. I don't know if you just negated my next question, but on Survivor beforehand, you know, some people might try and learn how to make fire. Did you guys l try and learn things that you didn't? Didn't know that you might be asked before you you went into the kitchen. Actually, I, mean, I, I actually did a lot of uh, ethnic food research, which really? was yeah. Because that stumped a lot of chefs when you last get year, stuck. Yeah. Season one, and uh, yeah, that's what I did. So. And did it come into play? Can't tell you. <laughs> that was, that was slick. Uh, what about the judging? Because uh, that's one of those moments that that I think. 
it's everyone's worst fear, right? You know, in our business, in anyone's business that they do. When a I professional mean, is watching your work. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And someone's sitting there, and they get to basically rip you. So, uh, first panel, Jimmy, uh, what's what's that feel like? Probably not very good. <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, I don't know if I want to disclose any of that. Well, you can't say what it's happened. Okay. I can't just, it's okay. I can't just come down and that. Like when you stand yeah, up the there, it's like, feeling. Oh, it's like well, you, you just don't know if you're on top or on bottom, and you just... You sit, stand there, and yeah, you just, it's, it's so much pressure because you're like, like your breath kind of stops for a second and then, you know. And take us behind the scenes. I mean, in, in reality television, a lot of the audience doesn't know how much hurry up and wait is going on. Uh, the process we see of judging is five minutes, maybe yeah. between commercials, a couple how more. How long How long does it take to film that judging? That stew room is one hell of a room, let me tell you. <laughs> Cigarette smoke does it slowly smell like drops beer? down. <laughs> it, we drank a lot of beer in there. We'll say that. Really? <laughs> yeah. But uh, so, like, wait a second. You're in the back room waiting to be judged. And getting they hammered. You, and they oh, give they're you just beer? like, oh. drink up. You're like, <laughs> You know, I would only think that happens on shows like The Real Housewives or The Bachelor, that they ply people with alcohol, but really Top Chef Canada, it's like well, a free-for-all? It's, it's not that. I mean, it is hurry up and wait, and there is like a means yeah. there so to, you know. Here's some like, amenities. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, look at that. Here's beer. beer. What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Can you learn... Uh, I mean, one of the things that we talked to Dale about after is is how much you learn about yourself as a professional when you're put in that kind of situation. So, Jimmy, what do you learn uh, when you're put into this kind of show, this kind of atmosphere, where you're in competition with some of the best chefs in Canada? Well, for like to to tie it back to before, it's like you know you learn that everything you do for the entire time you're on the show is judged. You as a person, the way you touch the food, the way you played it all, everything is judged, and you you really start to notice things about yourself. Really? So it, oh, it can sure. change for the better or for the... It can change for the... Uh, I always think it's, it's self-improvement, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it's learning, le in terms of learning about yourself, I mean, yeah, you really learn your own style of food. I mean, you're given such a small constraint of time to do something extravagant, so you really learn about what you can do and what you're capable of doing. And I think it really brings to light your actual So who wins? Style. Yeah, I, that's, that was one of the things I was curious about as well, Fiona. Who yeah. wins? Exactly. I want to keep my uh, What do they win, though? It's $100,000? Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. And a gourmet kitchen? Yeah. yeah. And a G e monogram. monogram. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. Nice Some good stuff. And as we saw with Top Chef Canada's first winner, Dale McKay, uh, you get that and a whole lot more. A lot of attention. So good luck to all the guys, including J uh, Jimmy and Trevor. I was going to combine both names that time. For Jimmy. For Jimmy. Jimmy, uh, really, I for would've Top Chef Canada, it is going Jim to Revy. premiere, uh, <laughs> of course, on March the 12th, the brand new season. Do not miss, it'll be 10 p.m. on Food Network Canada. Yeah, for good reason, this was the top rated show on Food Network Canada next year. They're going to kill it again this year. It is so good, you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break.